Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's uh, me back. It's been a while since I've updated on like my gaming collection and whatnot. But uh, here's a, some of the here are some of the games I've uh, purchased in the quite a bit of time. Mind you, this is not all my games because a lot of my games are packed up. I'm actually in the middle of moving, so you know I was packing some of the games up, and I was like, I don't think I've showed uh, some of these games and. Uh, a couple people have been asking me when I'm going to load, I'll load another video because I've only had two pertaining to my game collection before. So, uh, here we go. Here's um, some other stuff. Picked up Contra Hard Corps. Pretty fun game. I think it's like one of the only ones for the Genesis. Hard. One of my personal favorites. Streets of Rage, favorite one of favorite beam ups. I think one of the best made. Period. Last battle. This is another beat 'em up game, but it's based off the uh, series Fist of the North Star. I'm a big fan of that. Um, the reason they called it Last Battle, I guess they couldn't get some of the licensing or permission to use some of the certain names, so they just changed the name of the game and the name of all like the characters and stuff like that. A box the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with uh, the Mega Drive logo on top. I already have a um, Sonic 2 but it's not boxed. Oh well it has a band too. I didn't realize I got this for like a buck. Lethal Enforcers 2. This is uh, another one of my Genesis games. Really fun shooter. I don't have to gun with it, but I'll probably, probably try to find a gun. I'm having trouble actually uh, finding uh, retro games in my area. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. And, uh, this sucks out here. This is not a game. It's a cleaning system. I guess it cleans the game in the Genesis. Uh, I got this for free. I don't remember where I got it from, but X Men. Uh, here's a another Genesis game. Pretty cool. Beat 'em up. Um, I like the second one better. I haven't got my hands on that, but I got this for a dollar too. So. Jack Fu. <laughs> Everybody gives this game such a hard rap. Uh, you know how it sucks and everything, but I like the game actually. I think the game's pretty fun, I guess. But uh, it's really nostalgic for me. I used to play it when I was like four or five, and I guess that's why I like it. But hell, Biohazard Battle. Um. What can I say about this game? Uh, it's a pretty unique uh, shoot 'em up. Um, it's really, really fun. Uh, someone gave this to me. It was brand new, like classy and everything. But uh, I collect to play the game, not the collect to collect. So I would have played it. And uh, I might do a like a let's play or something on this. I'm not sure. I figured it out. Vector Man 2. Uh, fun game. I love the first one. I love the first Vector Man. Uh, these are one of my favorite, like, I guess, platform games. If I consider it. Um, pretty cool game. And uh, they need to remake a Vector Man. I don't make it like a Vector Man 3 or something. That would be something I really like to look forward to. Um, Beautiful Joe. What can I say? This is a great game. Great game. Fun beat em up. Um, a little bit of strategy to it, too. Um, I'm pretty sad that, you know, they never made another Beautiful Joe game after Beautiful Joe 2. That was actually good. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, um, I think, Wonderful 101. I think the executive producer made Beautiful Joe. And it reminds me of Beautiful Joe. That's actually coming off of the Wii U. And 
I, I'm excited for that. I'm gonna keep on the Wii U for that game. Dragon Quest Eight, very very underlooked game. This is like one of the best RPGs on the PS2. Fun. The 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 story pulls you in. Um, uh, music's wonderful. Graphics are good. Real cartoony. Uh, Akira Toriyama. I did the art. As you can tell, you can if you play the game. You can see the resemblance to Dragon Ball Z, or um, of that, you know, art style. Since this is the guy that you know created that. Code Veronica X. Uh, I haven't really played this game too much. I've seen it for like how much? Five bucks at a uh, MKs is a gaming store I go to, and uh, closer to downtown Raleigh. And I love the uh, Resident Evil series, so I picked this up. Devil May Cry 3. I think this is the best Devil May Cry. I didn't like 4. 2, I, I couldn't stand it. 1, I haven't really played too much. I got into it a little bit and never really finished playing it. But 3, my favorite one. Period. Um, NBA Street Volume 2, me and my buddy used to play this all the time in junior high school when this came out. Like, all day after school, we played it from like, like what, 3 in the afternoon to like, I go home, which is like 8, 9 o'clock. <laughs> that was a great game. Final Fantasy X, great, awesome RPG. I think this is another one of the best um, RPGs on the PS2. Actually, this is one, I think my second favorite um, Final Fantasy behind 6. 7 is a real good game, but I think it's overrated. I liked it, but not as good as 10. 10 is definitely above 7. God of War 2. I love the God of War series, period. So, Kratos, what, what can you say? Uh, people say I sound like Kratos. Uh, they don't call me Kratos at my at work. But hey, Kratos, how you doing? Uh, so, <laughs> I guess it's only right that I get this game. Another version of NBC Vibe 2 for GameCube. Sonic Adventure. Director's Cut. Super Smash Melee. Everybody knows Super Smash. I can't wait till they reveal the new one for the Wii, the Wii U at E3. I'm excited for that. Guitar Hero, you know about that. Adventure Island. Uh, I used to play this all the time when I was younger. I um, lived in New York. Uh, I used to play this one in the second one. And I came across this one. Actually, no, I'm lying. Actually, my sister bought this for me for Christmas. This year. This past Christmas. And uh, I've been pl I played the hell out of it. And I uh, beat it. Real good game, man. Final Fantasy 7. Yes, yeah, the greatest hits edition. I didn't care about it too much. Um, I got this for like five bucks. So, why not? The original Final Fantasy. I haven't played this yet at all, um, surprisingly. I just haven't had the time. Between school and work and other stuff that's going on. Um... I haven't had much time to get into it. Super C. Um, another Contra game I have. I haven't really gotten time to play this one either. I've just been being so busy. So, maybe once I'm done moving and stuff, I'll get more time to play some of these games. Now, the next, I think, four or five games I'm about to show you. Um, I'm real proud. It's a collection of, of this series. Uh, I'll start off with the first one. The original Mega Man. First one, I just recently got to the Mega Man series. Uh, love this one. Well, so far, I've 
just got like two days ago. And that's what, you know, maybe like, hey, I just got, I got to start upload this, this video with uh, some of the games with well, Mega Man 1. Mega Man 2. Um, this is a fun one as well. Uh, I love Mega Man 2. In my personal opinion, this is the easiest game out of the ones I've played. Mega Man 3. What can I say? <laughs> Another Mega Man. Real good. Mega Man 4. You know, I think this is the one where they add the, the charge shot. And they are they add the slide of 3. So this is like when you start to see the Mega Man that we know today. And finally, Mega Man 6. This one is one of my favorites actually. Everyone gives six a hard rap, but I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty good one, so you know, to each his own. And Mortal Kombat trilogy. I love this game out of a sixty four. Um growing up when I had one. Uh I personally my personal opinion I agree. I like the 64 version better. So, uh, this is fun. A lot of the times one is long on a 64 one, but this one's pretty good. And give me one second. It's like, three more games I didn't even show y'all yet that I wanted to put in this video. Another one I picked up. Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I love this game. This is like my favorite Budokai game. Um, recently, what I've noticed is jumped up in price. I've just seen it for like 30, 40 bucks. Yeah, and I wasn't paying that. So I went by I think the store for like 14 bucks. I'm like, hey, I like this game a lot. So I picked it up. Now one of my favorite series on the PS2. It's a real good game. Uh, I play it all the time. And it's the Onimusha series. Onimusha 1, great. I loved it. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite boss battles to end when you know when you fight Nobunaga. The game's just epic. Part 2. I like this game too. This is my least favorite out of the trilogy. But this is also a great game. Story is great. Keeps you, you know, pulls you in. And that's what I like about pretty much series. And then three. This game is awesome. You know, how you go from Paris, you know, you get through time. And just the boss battles are hard. They're good. This is a good series by Capcom. And they need to make another one, actually. Make a new one for, like, I don't know, PS3 or one of the new systems. We'll see. But uh, these are some of the games I've picked up. When I finish moving, I'll make another video of, uh, you know, of more, more of the games I've got. But I'm not going to go, go such a long time between uploading videos. Uh, one of the subscribers I've been talking to quite a bit on and off is uh, Life Spiller 79 He's always telling me, man, you gotta make another video. It's been a while since you've made one, you need to make a video. So, I've made one, um, I'm gonna keep up. Even if it's just not, uh, like, uh, uploads, you know, of my collection, if I, you know, I might give my photo some gaming news or something like that, you know, just to let y'all know that I'm, I'm still here, I'm not dying, and I'm gonna be more involved in, you know, the gaming community, but, uh, I'll be uploading more. I'll y'all be hearing from me soon. Peace.